fireworks playing out just before we came on the air tonight. The political fight over President Trump's Supreme Court nominee is getting ugly and quickly, with one senator using choice words just a short time ago to describe Republicans who now say they have done everything they can to accommodate the accuser. Judge Kavanaugh seen leaving his home this morning. There remains a public hearing set for Monday, and Republicans are putting pressure now on Dr. Christine Blasey Ford to come forward Monday. If not, many say they will move ahead with a vote. And the Washington Post is now reporting Kavanaugh underwent practice sessions, drills at the White House, to prepare for questioning. And his accuser tonight now saying she has received death threats, has had to move her family, her children to a new location, and has had her email hacked. She wants an FBI investigation into her allegation before she puts herself out there in front of senators who will grill her. And tonight, the president now saying of the allegation, quote, it is hard for me to imagine that anything happened. ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, leading us off. President Trump says he wants to hear from Brett Kavanaugh's accuser, but that the time to talk is running out. Mr. President, if, if Kavanaugh did what he's accused of doing, would that be disqualifying? I'd really want to see her. I really would want to see what she has to say. But I want to give it all the time they need. If she shows up, that would be wonderful. If she doesn't show up, that would be unfortunate. Christine Blasey Ford alleges Brett Kavanaugh tried to sexually assault her when the two of them were high school students. Kavanaugh denies the charges, and the president today made it clear he is inclined to believe him. I can only say this. He is such an outstanding man. Very hard for me to imagine that anything happened. Ford has not yet agreed to appear before the Senate on Monday. In a letter to the committee chairman, her lawyers say her life has been turned upside down. Her worst fears have been materialized, they write. She has been the target of vicious harassment and even death threats. Her family was forced to relocate out of their home. Her email has been hacked. Her lawyers also say it would be difficult for her to face, quote, interrogation by senators who appear to have made up their minds that she is mistaken and mixed up. That is a reference to what Republican Senator Orrin Hatch said earlier this week when asked if he believes Kavanaugh's denial. There's clearly somebody's mixed up. And you believe him? Yeah, I sure do. Uh -huh. Do you believe the accusers? Yeah. Well, I, I think she's mistaken. I think she's, she's mistaken something. Samantha Gary, who was a friend of Ford's in high school, said on ABC's The Briefing Room, there's no way she could be mistaken. He said she may be mistaking him for somebody else. Do you think that's possible here? That's not possible. <laughs> that's just not possible. I find that very, um, frankly, it makes me angry. It's really a, a way of dismissing her uh, and suggesting that her memory isn't clear. Ford's lawyers want the FBI to investigate before she appears on Capitol Hill. If they care about doing the right thing here and treating this seriously, as they have said, then they will do the right thing and they will properly investigate this. The president could order an investigation, but has declined to do so. The focus now is on Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley, who says he still hopes Ford shows up at his hearing on Monday. And we're not going to cancel any hearing until the last minute, I don't know what the last minute is, but until the last minute in hopes that she'll take us up. In a letter to Ford's lawyers today, Grassley writes, anyone who comes forward with allegations of sexual assault has a right to be heard. I have also offered her the choice of testifying in either public or closed session of the hearing. Grassley has also offered to send Senate aides to California, where Ford lives, to interview her there. Some Republicans are saying if Ford does not show up on Monday, the committee should move forward with a vote on Kavanaugh's nomination. She's welcome to come. We're going to have a hearing Monday. She can come if she likes. If she doesn't want to, she doesn't have to. Uh, Kavanaugh can come if he would like. I think he will. We're going to vote on Wednesday. Kavanaugh spent Monday and Tuesday at the White House as his life faces renewed scrutiny. Even this old joke about his high school. This is what happens at Georgetown Prep stays at Georgetown Prep. That's been a good thing for all of us, I think. As for Ford, her old high school friends are rallying around her. She was just very well liked across the board. She was very smart, very hardworking. Um, clearly, that is a, oh, those are qualities that she kept as she went forward in her adult life. And the president doesn't seem to be wavering at all in supporting his nominee. I think it's a very unfair thing, what's going on. Well, I'd have to see what she has to say. 
Uh, I've given her a lot of time. The Senate has given her a lot of time. We continue to give her a lot of time. We've held up the whole hearing. John Carl with us. A lot of fast moving parts on this. Mm -hmm. He's with us live from the White House. And John, I understand there's also news tonight from the Republican chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee that Judge Kavanaugh has actually already been questioned about these allegations. Chairman Chuck Grassley revealed that Kavanaugh was interrogated by Republican investigators on the Judiciary Committee for a transcribed interview on Monday. Senator Grassley says that Kavanaugh answered all questions, quote, fully, candidly, and unequivocally, and David, that he understood that if he did not tell the truth, he could be charged with a felony. John Carl, live, leading us off tonight. John, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.